Hello there. Hello there. I'm Stephen. And my name's Ollie. And I'm the youth worker here at Frimley Baptist Church. And I'm the centre director for Camelie Youth for Christ. Fantastic. Well, today we have our faith video uh, Mm -hmm. because it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Uh, Every Monday we film a funny challenge and on a Wednesday we talk about our faith. Yep. Just a bit of a chat, just two of us. A bit about life as well. uh, Yeah. Today we are talking about the fact that it's often quite hard to invite our friends to church. Mm Mm-hmm. And I know particularly for for young people, that can be a really hard thing to do. I know when I talk to my friends, my my young people, they say, say, oh, but our friends aren't really asking us those faith type questions. And so it's really down to us or down to you guys to to be making those those first steps. But that's a really nerve wracking thing to do, isn't it? So what do you reckon? Why why is it so hard? Um, I think it's so hard because I think when you invite someone to something, like the fear is, is that it might be naff and that your friend might not have a good mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Um, and so like when you do like an invitation, actually, uh, you're making yourself vulnerable mm. um, to your friends saying, yeah, that was absolutely rubbish. Or the fear of like, yeah. they're not going to like it or um, the fear that they're going to maybe take Mick out of your faith if, if you're inviting into a, yeah. a particular like youth group with that has a faith element yeah. on the lines of that. So I guess there's, there's that. What, what about you, Stephen? Yeah, I... I guess when I when I look at things things like this, I I kind of consider how authentic we're being. Um, like when when we invite our friends to church or to a Christian event, what are they going to experience? Are they going to experience a group of people who are too afraid to really say what they believe, or are they going to experience a group of people who are going to say exactly what they what they think and what they believe? Because I, I I don't know about you, but when when I when I talk to my non Christian friends they're not afraid to tell me what they believe. And so I wonder why I'm so afraid to tell them what I believe. Mm. The fact that I do believe that this earth was, this earth was made by God, it, 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 that Jesus came to die for our sins, that without Jesus, sorry, without, nobody comes to the Father or to have eternal life unless it's through Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I don't know why people are so scared of those truths. I guess it's because it's so easy to, feel rejected if you don't believe in those things isn't it but Mm. um but actually there is a certain honesty to that and i think people appreciate honesty and sometimes people can um people can tell when you're not being authentic people can tell when you're when you're hiding the truth you know if someone says oh come to this thing at my church you know you definitely won't be uh, you know, won't be asked to come to church or won't be challenged in any way, shape or form. Well, what are they going to? A social club? No, we're going to church. We're going to a place where we're challenged to grow, challenged to change our lives, but challenged to live first and foremost for Jesus Christ. And no, we don't expect everybody to come through the doors and go out the other end on a conveyor belt as perfect, shiny, happy Christians. That doesn't happen. What we expect is that people come into church and that bit by bit by bit they, 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 they grow a little bit in their faith. Mm-hmm. And they might go from a place where they have no possibility of um, coming to faith or they have no recognition of faith to a place where they say, oh, okay, well, I now know a Christian, I know what they believe. And that can be a huge step. And then from there it's, I know, I know a Christian, I know what they believe. I'd like to find a little bit more out about that. Mm-hmm. And they go from this kind of, they, through this kind of process. And yeah, sure, you might not get to see that person become a Christian. But actually being authentic and saying what you believe can often be the first step. Yeah, yeah. It's like the parable of the sower, mm. isn't it? When we plant, uh, when, when we scatter seeds, sow seeds, mm. um, that we don't know where those seeds are going to land. Mm. And sometimes they might land on the hard path. Uh, they, may, they might land on somewhere where the birds eat it. Mm. Um, and Jesus taught this parable. And basically, he was talking about inviting and um, talking to people about, about Jesus, about the good news. Mm. What makes the sower most effective is that they're still doing it. Mm. That, they're still, that they're still, you know, inviting people. That they're still scattering seeds. Mm. Actually, that the parable of the sower, um, you know, the, the, power is, the power is that he kept on doing it. That he, he didn't give yeah. up. He didn't give up when it actually it landed on the rocky ground. Actually, mm. he didn't give up when it landed mm. uh, amongst the thorns. Actually, yeah. he kept on going, and then it finally landed on the yeah. good soil. That that is that is the power of repetition and, and keeping going, even mm. though even though we might get rejected. Uh, actually, it's taking that step of faith and just trying it. And mm. um, you know, you might your friends might say no, and that's completely okay. Yeah. 
Um, but I, I think what Stephen, like what you were saying as well, is like about being authentic um, and like you know being real with people. I try. Be authentic. I try to say <laughs> goodbye and I choke. <laughs> try to walk away <laughs> and I stumble. No, I try to hide it. It's clear my world crumbles when you are not here. Yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah. So like. I guess youth workers need to take on some responsibility for this mm. uh, because I remember when I was a um, youth worker at St John's Windlesham, I kept on saying, you know, invite your friends to this, invite your friends to this. Um, and actually we need to make it easier mm. for young people if they're going to invite their friends. So yeah. it needs to be something that is non-threatening where the, where the young person feels comfortable thinking, actually, this person's going to have a great time. Um, and that's why first impressions mm. are so important. Mm. So, you know, um, for a youth worker to say, actually, we would like to invite your friends to this particular group, like a youth club or, yeah. or a social or something like that, instead of the youth worker saying, right, I'd like to invite them to this, this and this, um, and they might turn up and just feel like it's, it's not an uncomfortable environment, that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, for us at Friendly Baptist, we're just about to relaunch our youth group Crunch, but we're going to relaunch it as FBC Youth Club because we realised, what is Crunch? Nobody knows what Crunch is. Mm. Um, so FBC, Friendly Baptist Church, Youth Club, it says exactly what it is on the tin. So that is our year seven to year nine youth club on a Monday night, starting from January. Um, but actually, we've decided that while we're not going to, you know, explicitly say, you know, when people come in, they're going to have a great time. Of course they are. But we're also going to say, well, actually, alongside this, we do have these events running, running along here. And, you know, if you come to our group, we'd love you to come, whether or not you're interested in becoming a Christian or not. But we're going to invite you to some of our more Christian events as well. You know, you don't have to come to those. Yeah, of course you don't. You're still welcome to come to everything, but we would love you to join us at some of our some of our church events too, and we're not going to be afraid to invite you. Great, and there's lots of like even if you don't live close to Frimley, actually, there's lots of different youth groups that are doing brilliant yeah. stuff like that. The, the Beacon Church they have like a youth group yeah, on a Friday, uh, which is at the Beacon Centre um, around on the Old Dean. Uh, you've got St John's Windlesham they do a youth club as well on a Friday. Um, Amy McQuaid, the youth worker at uh, St Michael's. St Michael's, they do a youth club on a Friday. Yeah. Um, and you know, we'd mm. like you know get involved in that, and then mm. you never know, you could end up having a faith and getting to love, know and love Jesus like we do. Yeah, yeah, cool, great. Anything to add? Um, yeah, I think actually you you just hit on a good point there. Um, sometimes as Christians, we kind of assume that people don't want to come to faith and people don't want to know Jesus, but actually, we treat it like that. You know, it's like if you were going to a football match and you had a spare ticket. You wouldn't sh shyly approach someone and say, oh, "Hey, I, I don't know if you're interested, but I've, I've got this. Um, I've got this this thing I go to on Saturdays. It's called it's called football, and you know, if 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 you wanted to come up, I've, I've I've got a ticket you could you could you could have. No, you know that football is great, and you kind of go, well, I've got a football ticket. Do you want to come with me, mate? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to go to the football with you. I love football. Yeah, but actually, sometimes we can be like that with with Jesus. If we're a Christian, we believe that Jesus is the best thing ever. Like, he died for us so that we could know God forever and have eternal life and have a relationship with the Father. So why on earth are we embarrassed about that? So if you're listening to this and you've made it this far and you're not a Christian, let me tell you, my relationship with Jesus is the best thing in my life. Better than my relationship with my wife, although that is great. I love my wife. Uh, darling, if you're listening, I love you. <laughs> um, you know, better than my job, better than my car, better than my house, better than anything I've got in my life. My relationship with Jesus is the top thing I have. And I wouldn't give that up for the world. And actually, if you don't know Jesus, you're missing out. I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush. You are missing out if you don't know Jesus. You will, you will have such a better life if you come to know Jesus. And I'm not going to be embarrassed about that. So come to know Jesus. The invitation awesome. is there. Mm. Cool. Anyway, guys, uh, the point. Yeah, the, the point, point is happening is this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday night. Yes. Um, and you're invited to you come. You are invited, yeah. It's, it's for um, 15 to 25 year olds, but if you're around that age, you're more than welcome to come mm. along as well. Mm. Uh, six o'clock at High Cross Church. Um, if you come a little bit later, that's okay. The actual server kicks off at seven o'clock. Mm, fantastic. Cool, we want to see you there. Great, cool. Anyway, guys, we shall see you soon. Goodbye. Yeah, see you on Monday. Bye! Bye!